adding an extended end plate is very easy. We just first of all need to extend the end plate itself and then rearrange the bolts. So if we come down to the end plate dimensions, the top projection will make that 100. And then we need to adjust these bolt centers. So the first one would be 50 and the second one would be 100 or even 110. And now the connection works. Alternatively, we can add a stiffener in the bottom of the joint in a similar fashion. So all you do is you go to bottom and you go to projection, make that 100. And then you would again adjust your bolt centers so that they're not clashing and make that 150. That gives you more room in the web area, but of course you can also create this as a stiff area to um, increase your lever arms again. At the moment the lever arm will still be about the compression of the beam flange. So to add in a bottom stiffener, what we're going to do is add in a gusset stiffener and we're going to set a length of say 200 and then we're going to put in not the top but the bottom thickness of say 15 mil and suddenly in comes our stiffener. Now we'll notice now that our results have failed and the reason is the compression in the stiffener is too high and you'll probably find it's the weld to the stiffener because it assumes full load on the stiffener if it exists and yes it's the axial weld so we do need to put bigger welds here than you might think so for a 15 mil we would need to put in a bottom weld of say 10 mil and move away and that still isn't quite enough so 12 and in fact so that you can get like with like you would need to put a stiff weld either side in roughly equal to the same size as the parent metal um, to make that work so that now is a stiffener that's been designed and if we look at our design results we will see that we are considering the compression zone to be part of the stiffener plus the flange. So the stiffener is improving it but it's not making it a hundred percent better. So the problem is the thickness of the stiffeners you need to have quite an area for it to have an effect. So it's not normally a very efficient use in compression. If the plate was slender it would not even consider it as being in compression.